Hello everyone, welcome to a special edition of United Insurance's Line and Length. Hello especially to our friends on Sportsmax and Scene TV. I'm Barry Wilkinson, with me Andrew Seeley. A special edition because we are at the home of cricket in the Caribbean, Kensington Oval. Three fantastic T20s, we versus them and Andrew, it was everything it was cracked up to be. Certainly we versus them here at the Mecca, a beautiful pitch, West Indies versus England, West Indies winning 2-1, excitement from Sunday to Thursday. Indeed it was on today's program, we have uh, Sir Richard Richardson, we have David Lloyd, Jeffrey Dujon, Dwayne Smith, Lendl Simmons, a star-studded lineup. Certainly all the personalities are talking about cricket, T20 cricket, and the World T20 is coming. The World T20 is coming in Bangladesh, we're going to review this uh, T20 series and also look ahead to what's happening in Bangladesh. You do not want to miss this edition, stay tuned, don't move a muscle, United Insurance's line of left is about to begin. When you are insured with United Insurance, you know you're in safe hands because our AM Best Excellent Rating means that we have the financial strength and stability to protect your prized possessions. Rely on the company that understands your needs for property, motor, business, and marine insurance. For all your general insurance needs, choose United Insurance. Got this in my hand, got this in my hand, yeah. My bar made of my bag, got to understand, got to understand, yeah. Like a cool bank fair, none of them others just can't compare. You just got to love that taste. It's a world class thing this land makes. Whether I'm cruising or at the bar, whether I'm at home, my bank fair is never far. For this blessing, got to give God thanks. My Barbados, my pain. With me, President of the West Indies Cricket Board, Dave Cameron. Uh, Dave, jubilant mood, West Indies have won the series. Uh, excellent, excellent mood. Um, we haven't won a series for a while. But you know, what everybody's been looking at the, the, uh, the performance of the team in the last bunch of 2020s. We've lost, what, five coming into the series. But we must always remember we've not been playing the actual T20 squad. You know, because of how the, the schedules are set up, you play a couple of test matches, you play a few ODIs, and then you play maybe one or two T20s. We've been largely using the guys who are 50 over specialists. And so that's one of the reasons, like a Santoki, would not have been playing. Now our squad for the World Cup, the World T20, is assembled. And you can see the difference. People like Dwayne Smith has made a Santoki. And so we, we have always said we are about the events. Those big events, at the end of the day, we're going to this tournament as the defending champions, and we proved that today. Well, certainly the, the, the team looks particularly good, because sometimes you can win and you don't look as if you are in charge. But the West Indies team have won two games consecutively, and they have looked good on both days. And like I say, you know, this is now our T20 team. Uh, I think if you look at our batting, we have about eight or nine match winners in this team with the bat. And then you look at the bowling, you have the Narines, the Badri, Santoki. Any one of them on the day again could win it with the ball. So, you know, we're very, very excited about this team. And we're looking to take the trophy back to the shores of the Caribbean. Well, certainly Bangladesh will be a major challenge because of the difference in pitches. Uh, uh, but certainly the preparation here from playing against an England team, which is a pretty good team, and the fact that perhaps uh, South Africa and Australia would not have had the type of practice probably means that West Indies could go into the tournament uh, as pre-tournament favourites. Well, like I said to you, Andrew, we are the defending champions. So uh, we're, we're going into the, 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 the tournament as the favourites. Irrespective of what anybody says, we believe we're the favourites. But we are, we are concerned, we are mindful that it's Bangladesh. Uh, that is why we brought a couple of slow bowlers. That is why we have Sackley and Mustak with the team to assist us with, with that kind of um, pitches uh, in Bangladesh. So I think overall from the preparation, the guys are ready and um, we're just raring to go. Okay, if we look a bit beyond uh, Bangladesh and the World T20, perhaps just looking forward, I, we understand both New Zealand and Bangladesh are coming for two test series as we go back to test cricket yeah. later in the year. Um, are, are we prepared for those two tournaments? Well, we're not prepared as yet. Mm -hmm. um, we are preparing now to, to, to defend our championship in Bangladesh. But we've organized a period uh, just after the IPL 
in which we'll be able to get the guys uh, back in the mind frame of test cricket just before right. New Zealand comes. So we will be ready by then. Thank you very much, Dave Cameron. Cheers. First of all, congratulations to Sir Richie Richardson, uh, manager of the West Indies team. Sir Richie, congratulations on the knighthood and congratulations on success in this T20 series. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's been indeed uh, past very two very, very good weeks for me, uh, being knighted in Antigua and um, also winning the T20 uh, tournament against England. So I'm very, very excited at this time. So Richie, when you first heard from the government of Antigua and Barbuda that you were going to be knighted, were you surprised? Yes, I was surprised because it's not something that I really expected. Um, I never really thought of it. Um, when they called me at first, I was a bit excited, but at the same time I wasn't sure. But when I got the official word, you know, I, I just couldn't believe it. Uh, I was really over the moon and I'm very grateful to the government and the people of Antigua and Barbuda to have bestowed such a wonderful honor on me. And to have been knighted as well alongside Sir Andy Roberts and Sir Kurt De Ambrose. It obviously gives you a special feeling knowing that all of you have not come out from this small island of Antigua. Yeah, most certainly. I mean, uh, we're very proud. Um, very small island, as you say, 108 square miles, 75,000 people. And to, to produce um, 17 test cricketers who are still alive today is just uh, unbelievable. You know, and to have produced uh, four nights, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And so we're very proud uh, as Antiguans and Barbudans. And uh, we just hope that we can set an example or we have set an example for young aspiring sportsmen and women. And Richie, since you've left the game, or so Richie, I should say, that you've left the game on the field, you're now taken up a different role. How is it going as the manager of the West Indies team? Perhaps the most challenging job in the region. Well, for me, um, I'm still learning as I go along. Um, for me, the greatest thing is to be able to work along with the young players in particular. I've always seen myself as a servant to West Indies cricket, and I will always do whatever I can to help West Indies cricket. But I enjoy working with the players, enjoy working with the youngsters in particular, and anything I can do to contribute to the further development of Western cricket, I'm more than happy. And of course, this success here in Barbados on the T20, and you move on to Bangladesh, it's, it's non stop cricket. Are you looking forward to the West Indies retaining that T20 championship? Yeah, most certainly. Um, you know, we've got we're defending champions, and uh, we've got to go and defend well. Um, we've got a, a strong team, we've got you know a bunch of guys who we feel that can go and do it again. But as we know, uh, you know, anything can happen, you know, so we're not going to take anything for granted. We, going to continue to work hard and, and, and stay on track and uh, we believe that come the 7th of uh, next month we will bring the trophy back to the Caribbean. That's Sir Richie Richardson, the manager of the West Indies team, looking forward to the T20 World Championship in Bangladesh. When you are insured with United Insurance, you know you're in safe hands because our AM Best Excellent Rating means that we have the financial strength and stability to protect your prized possessions. Rely on the company that understands your needs for property, motor, business, and marine insurance. For all your general insurance needs, choose United Insurance. Welcome back to the program. With me is Dwayne Smith. Dwayne, playing in front of your home crowd. Uh, didn't get any runs today, but generally we've seen some electrifying starts from you. Oh well, yes, I've um, been working very hard at my game. Um, a little disappointed that I didn't carry on, especially in those two games. But um, all in all, I feel good and just to go out there, as I said, and to spend more time at the crease. I'm sure that the, the, um, the runs that I need will come. How important was, was it for the West Indies to win a series before the World T20? Oh, it's very important, I think, because um, to and to win so convincing to um, against English, who has a good team, um, is good, and it, it, I'm sure that it will carry us through to into the tournament. I think we have two warm-up games before, so uh, I'm sure that we will use those games too to to give us some momentum to go into the tournament. The, the atmosphere at Kensanova was a bit like <laughs> playing at Lords because there were so many England fans. How did that feel playing at Kensington, but seeing so many English spectators? Oh, as I say, I really don't study the crowd, but um, 
when in here, uh, every, every say we, we feel like we have, was at large, I'm sure that the English will feel it more than us then because um, we beat them in the series. So um, it was good, as I said, to, to get to win the series and, and to move on from here. I, um, I'm just trying to be as consistent as I can and help um, the West Indies to retain the tournament. When you look at how your cricket is going to be this year, you have a pretty interesting first quarter. Right after the World T20, you go to play for your new franchise. How are you looking forward to that, switching from Mumbai? Um, but right now, I'm just focused on the World Cup, to, to be serious. Um, when that time comes, then I'll look forward to, to representing China. I'm sure that it will be an exciting um, time with them because I've seen them play. I've played against them um, a good set of times too. So I know how they play and I'm sure that I would fit in with them. But um, right now, I'm just focused on getting the West Indies to retain the title. Where do you think is the strength right now in the West Indies team? <laughs> As I see it, um, I was talking to coach earlier and saying that um, at some point in time, there was always somebody that, that stepped up, and I'm sure that if we can go through the tournament like this, I'm sure that we will retain the title. All right, Dwayne, all the best, and we look forward to seeing you in Bangladesh after a good run in the West Indies. Yes, thanks. Man. So one of the most sensational batting we've seen has been from Lendl Simmons. Really looking good, Lendl. Your form is, is going on the up, heading towards Bangladesh. Here's a new position for me, but then number four in 2020, so I just adapted to it. Uh, just playing the situation as I see it. Um, I have a bit of form coming to this, to this game from the one days, so it has been good. A couple of banks of guys are going to drink tonight, although you didn't win today. Still won the series 2-1 and your contribution throughout was great. Yeah, it's been a while since we have won a series. It's a good feeling. hope that is a sign of good things to come. I'm um, sure the guys enjoy that feeling and hopefully tonight we can celebrate. When you look at how things are going to Bangladesh, it's going to be an interesting series. How do you look at the teams that you're playing against? A tough draw? Yes, there's no easy group. There's two groups and no easy group there. Uh, we have uh, some tough games um, in India, Australia, Pakistan. Those are not easy teams, but once we play to our potential and everyone um, does their part, we should come with successful. Where's the strength right now in the side, what you would say? I think our strength is our bowling, but once we come good with our batting, that has, that has been our downfall for uh, the last couple of series, last year's coming, going by. Um, so once we get a good start, which is most important, and we bat the middle over is good, we can finish good. Do you think that you're going to stick at that number four position, or I should say, would you like to stick at that number four position for the World T20? Um, it's not my, it's my, not my choice to say. Uh, we have Chris Gale, Dwayne Smith, Fletcher, John Charles, who are openers. I'm also opener, but I think I'm best to tell our number four to fit in the team. So that's my role, so I'll play it. All right, Lendil, all the best and uh, good luck in Bangladesh. Thank you. With me, David Lloyd, former England player and also the coach of the England team. And David, West Indies have won the series. England are a bit disappointing here in the Caribbean. Yeah, just in this game, the second game, it was neck and neck after 18 overs, 136 each. But then you get the firepower of the West Indies, the way that Sammy bosses is a situation. I think the real contenders, the West Indies, for the World T20, they've got everything covered. They've got the bowlers, they've got the slow bowlers, Bowlers, they've got some canny pace bowlers, they've got the guile of Dwayne Bravo and then the players who come in from Gale downwards, they just keep coming and Sammy coming in lower middle order is devastating. Okay, as we look towards the World T20, not many people had the West Indies to win the last time in 2012 and now in 2014 again, it's a, it, it looks as if West Indies could start as favourites. I won money last time, <laughs> I got money last time and I'll be having a little tickle on the West Indies again. It's in Bangladesh and I would say that the Asian countries like India may be fir firm favourites but if West Indies can hold in there hang together I think they do it properly 2020 cricket they're clever with the bowlers they've got Narayan who's an absolute trump card and then all these batsmen come in one after another with no fear and I'll tell you this that the infielders in that 30 yard circle are not in the game West Indies batters just keep hitting it out of the ground as a former England coach how disappointed are you with that? with the England team and the T20? I'm, I'm not disappointed. I think the rebuilding, I think that it's two steps forward, one back, and then another couple back. Realistically, we won't win the T20 World Cup. What they're looking to do in the final game here, if they can get a scalp, now, if that scalp is the one of the big shots, which I think it is, the West Indies, it might just give them impetus for Bangladesh, but there are better teams out there in Bangladesh. If we talk about something a little controversial, Kevin Peterson, no longer part of the England setup. Yeah. Your thoughts on that? I have no view other than he is a 34-year-old 
who's averaged 32 in Test match cricket in the last 18 months. They're rebuilding, they're moving on. And I think it's uh, between the two of them, Kevin and the people who are managing, have decided that it's time to leave and say your goodbyes. And for the England team, there will always be 11 players out there. Whichever country it is, there will always be 11. And so they're moving forward. And they may just have to take a hit now and again. Kevin has been fabulous for England. He's the best player I've ever seen play for England. I've seen a lot. But I think it's time to move on. And, and David Lloyd himself, any thoughts of taking up with his challenge? of coaching the England team at this stage? Andrew Seeley, absolutely not. With me are Geoffrey Dujon. Geoffrey, you've been following the tour West Indies versus England, first of all in Antigua, now here in Barbados. Your thoughts on the West Indies performance, especially here in Barbados in the, the three T20s? Well, uh, in the first, in the first um, two, I think they, they, they performed pretty well, executed well. They, they showed this kind of strength and balance that they have. Um, in, in, in the West Indies team. Um, well, they, I think it, it, it sets up really well for the, for the World Cup for them. Um, they're they going there with batsmen in form, which is good. You know, S Smith, Gale, Samuels, Simmons, they all, um, Sammy, they're all looking pretty good form. So the, the batting side of things is, is, is looking pretty good. Um, how they how they, they they use the bowlers as as you know it's a very strategic thing in in T20 cricket that is that's going to be another matter but they look they look pretty well set up and pretty well prepared for the T20 World Cup and your thoughts on the further composition of the team obviously the the, the first 11 or 12 certainly are strong but the 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 players in reserve are you happy with the re reserve players yes i think they i think they fill they, they they pretty much fill the gaps i would have like to have seen maybe another spinner included because of where the, the World Cup is going to be played. But uh, apart from that, um, they seem to pretty much have the bases covered and will go into the, the, the World Cup, I think, as, as one of the favourites. And if they do play to form, then they will be a serious contender to retain their title. And your thoughts on the England team? Uh, the England team are without Kevin Peterson, without Cook, uh, without Graham Swan. It certainly looks a different team, and it seems to be a team that's uh, feeling its way. They do. Um, the, the, the good thing about them is that, it, that the, the youth in the team, the age, average age of the team, augurs well for the future. Um, but what I think they're lacking now is real hitters. They need some big hitters, and you can't really identify any, any, any big hitters like you can in the, in, in, the, um, in the West Indies team. There's nobody like a Chris Gale or a Dwayne Smith or a Dan Darren Sammy. They, they're, they, they seem to be more like, uh, like Dwayne Bravos, who are quasi mm -hmm. kind of players, mm -hmm. but not out-and-out -out power players. And I think the fact that they don't have power players is, is, is going to mitigate against how far they're going to go in, in, in the World Cup. Okay, if we actually look at that T20 World Cup now, West Indies are the defending champions. Probably surprised quite a few people back in 2012 when we won that tournament. But we're going to Bangladesh now. Uh, we're also seeing Australia against South Africa. And those two teams look pretty good. Your thoughts on the overall, uh, the, the World T20? It certainly is shaping up to be quite an exciting tournament. It certainly is. And it's not going to be a walk in the park for anyone by any means. Uh, the... The, the surfaces in the subcontinent, obviously, the spinners will have, a, will have a say in the conversation. And the teams that play spin better are obviously going to have um, a, a, a slight advantage. So we're not, you're, you're not seeing any, uh, uh, to me, no in immediate favorites right now. Um, and as you know, it's just 20 overs aside, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's who plays well on the day. But it sets up to be quite interesting. Um, so uh, obviously, Australia looks strong. South Africa looks strong. I think it's going to have a lot. What's going to have a lot to do with this World Cup is how teams play spin. And, and we talk about teams playing spin, and we haven't mentioned the teams from the subcontinent. We've just had the Asia Cup, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and also Afghanistan. Uh, certainly, all of these teams from the subcontinent, and they've just come out of their own Asia tournament, and and the and the Sri Lankans have been the dominant team in that tournament. Yeah, well, on any given day, anybody can spoil your plans, you know. And, and obviously, the subcontinent teams who are, uh, would be much better used to those conditions um, are, are definitely factors to, 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 to watch. Um, 
Bangladesh themselves playing at home. Uh, Sri Lanka, obviously. Pakistan, very much an unknown quantity. You never know, you know, <laughs> when which, Pakistan uh, which one is going to turn up, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be very interesting. And when the dust settles, we could, we could end up with, with, with some teams that you wouldn't have expected to see there. That's uh, Jeffrey Dujon. He's now an international commentator, but former West Indies keeper. And you're watching United Insurance's Line and Line. When you are insured with United Insurance, you know what it feels like to feel this safe. Choose the financially strong regional insurance company with the strength and stability to protect your prized possessions. For property, motor, business, and marine insurance, you're in safe hands with United Insurance. Got this in my hand, got this in my hand, yeah. My Barbados, my baby. Got to understand, got to understand, yeah. My Barbados, my baby. Ain't nothing like a cool bank fair. None of them others just can't compare. You just got to love that taste. It's a world class thing this land makes. Whether I'm cruising or at the bar, whether I'm at home, my bank fair is never far. For this blessing, got to give God thanks. My Barbados, my thanks. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second bank stop. Today, we're in the heart of Bridgetown Barbados at the home of cricket. Banks welcomes you to Kensington Oval for the second bank stop. Banks beer has been flowing all day and all the fans have been having a ball. It was no surprise either as the West Indies completed a series victory over England. Well, they can now drink as much Banks beer as they want. With me is uh, man of the match, Kishmar Santoki, and the captain, Darren Sami. First of all, Kishmar, I'm going to get to Darren, but I want to talk to you first. Back in the team, four wickets, you really bowled well today. Yeah, I did bowl well. Um, you know, I just used the condition. Um, I watched from the sideline the other day and the pitch. You know, I realized if you bowl a lot of slow ball, you get the result. So, you know, all in all, I just go there and, you know, put it into the game, and, you know, it worked well for me today. Darren, were you proud of how Kishmore, man of the match performance, coming back into the team, uh, was out a little bit for the injury and first game, didn't look like if he missed anything? Well, um, Kishma is, is a guy we always want in the team, you know, um, when he got his opportunity against um, Ireland in Jamaica, the way he bowled, um, I said to the coach and the selectors, we're going to have a headache. Once he's in there, we're going to have a headache to, to pick the 11 and, you know, um, Narayan, we didn't risk him today. Kishma getting his chance and, and, he, and he shows why we're going to have a headache. Because Narayan got to come back. Um, Ravi has been really good for us. Um, Marlon, Bravo, everybody's been good for us. So it's a good headache to have. But um, credit to Kishma, he's done really well in the CPL, in regional T20. And he continues to show that, you know, he's a world-class bowler. You know, um, people might not give him the, the credit and the respect he deserves. But as today, you saw it was very difficult to get him away in the first ten, in the first six and in, and, and in the last um, four overs. So it's all good for me to have guys like Chris Gill, Dane Smith, Narayan Bravo and Kishma Santoki in the side going to defend the World Cup. You know, Kishma, when I saw the atmosphere this morning, I, I saw the overcast guys, I said, today could be your day. Were you thinking the same thing? Did the conditions, weather weather-wise, help you out with your bowling? Well, not really, but um, I just know once I, I've got the chance, you know, I have to just make it my day. So, you know, I just be confident and be positive and just go there and get the job done. Do you think that the English batsman did something wrong or you just decided to keep that line of length very straight? Well, I, I, I've just stick to the basic, what I've done over the years, you know, just bowl wicket to wicket, very my pace and, you know, that's just it. You must forgive me, I didn't, I didn't congratulate you on winning the series. Um, it was a series victory after being beaten 2-1 in the one internationals. Of course, you weren't captain then, but it was a series victory for the West Indies heading into that T20 World Cup. How do you feel about the series victory? It feels good, you know, um, three games before the World Cup. Um, here at the Mecca, um, in, in, at Kensington Oval, full house, you know, and um, to, to, to play our 
final games here in Barbados before we head off to Bangladesh, the crowd get a taste of what we, we could do in, in the World Cup. And if we take that form and continue and take it to um to Bangladesh, you know, and we execute the way we've been in the last been doing in the last two games, we, we, we have a good chance of retaining that title. Are the guys gonna have a couple of bags tonight to celebrate? Oh uh, well I, I know manager um Sir Richardson um you know he, he has a couple of banks in there and um I definitely will have one. Um, I don't know if Bravo will but he doesn't drink but uh, I know Kishma might have one as well so it's a good feeling uh, we still got one game to go we want to finish 3-0 um, and um, give the Belgian crowd or the, 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 the West Indian fans um, something to cheer about before we head off Alright, so I'm um, with the backs of course uh, man of the match, none other than Kishma Santoki congratulations to the Windies they won the series it's been a great time for the fans they've been responsibly enjoying banks while watching the West Indies win like Kenzo and Noble now talking to this fan who's been drinking banks we're all day having a great time the West Indies have won the series how do you feel about that I'm very excited fantastic performance by the team uh, it was a great cricket good team spirit good team effort and I, I was really happy with that how do you feel about Banks Bear, a, a Barbadian company sponsoring uh, cricket? Well, Barry, as a Barbadian, you know, you like to see Banks anywhere you go. So, throughout the Caribbean, watching cricket, I know, of course, Banks sponsoring the West Indies team is great for a Barbadian. Obviously, I'm, I'm very excited about it. Happy with the West Indies form leading into the World T20? Yes, um, I would like a couple of changes for obviously um, to see coming up so everybody gets a little chance before they, they, they go off to Bangladesh but um, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing so far. So the Wendy's have done it. Next week we'll see who was the man of the series. So thank you so much for joining us from Kenzo Novo for United in Shorts' is line and length. We'll see you next week. Of course, the World T20 starts next week. Andrew Sealy will be holding the fort, and we look forward to some great cricket in Bangladesh. I'm Barry Wilkinson. Bye-bye for now.